my god. Okay, so today we're going to react to Slow Millie. The audio? Oh my god. But don't worry. It gets... It it stops soon. So, why didn't you hear this? That's what we're going to react to. This is her mixtape out of Queen. I, like, cannot wait to hear this. I don't know if this is her first mixtape. Let me see. Okay, yeah, this is her first. Yes! Let's go. The first song is called Mood Every Day. This is the intro. <gasps> Let's go. Ooh. I like, wait, okay. Wait. Beef, I've already heard that. Um, and in the party, I've also heard that. Though That's why I love her. Like, she, woo, she really be doing that. Like, she goes off. That's the thing I like about her is because she's so different. She's so, like, she's not all up in your face with the, like, deep voice. She's not trying to be, like, something that she's not. And that's what I like about her. Oh my fucking god. Let's keep going. Okay, so I've heard beef and I have I don't I haven't heard like that bitch, but that has a star next to it. And in the party, I've heard that. Um those two songs are bops. Fucking bops. Hey, what is this? Okay, so far consistently keeping it great. So far. The intro, I really want to talk about that. <clears throat> it's like, it's a perfect, she's doing her thing. Like, this is a project right here. This isn't no bullshit little mixtape. This is a project. And that's what I love about it. Because there's mixtapes that are terrible. <laughs> terrible, terrible setup, terrible delivery. This was, th this is amazing so far. Let's keep going. The next song is called In The Party. Everybody knows it. Dicks up when I step in the party. Like, everybody knows this song. And if you don't know it, get hip. Because, child, woo! Okay, the next song is called Pockets Bigger. <laughs> Wait. You guys, I love her so much. Let me add this to my playlist real quick. Like, it, that, like the thing is, it's like so simply good. Like, it's either good or bad. For me personally, like, <clears throat> when it comes to music, it's either good or bad. And this is just good. Like, she knows how to do it. The flow, the cadence is there. The delivery is there. Yeah, like she is flexing. She's 19. She said she's 19. Girl, she's three years younger than me. And child, what? Yes! Oh my god, I cannot be like you cannot be mad at her. You can't. Like if you are, then I just assume you're racist. <laughs> okay, that was a flex. Let's keep going. The next song called Week. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. Yes. This is a different. Hey, I'm about to hit a Christian. I ain't seen him in a minute. Then it be on my niggas weak. 
I really like the sound of that. It was more, it was different. It was different from everything that she has ever released. Um, because she does have that certain sound, but I think that is her appeal. Like, that is what people enjoy. I mean, I do. Like, she's snapping with that familiar shit. Like, come on. I live for it. But that was like different. It was like switched up. But at the same time, it was hard. Like, it was hard. Like, my sis is good. My sis is good. And I think over time she's going to keep continuing to grow as an artist and not use that appeal um, with a lot of her songs. Um, but, <laughs> I love it. She's talking about a Malik child. I know a Malik too. And let's just keep going. <laughs> Next song is called Send the Addy. Oh, this the one. Wait. Nobody seeing it. It's like every single beat is like it, it's a hook, like or not a hook. It, it hooks you like off jump, like ooh baby. I will just say right now I'm like halfway through. This is one of my favorite releases of this year. It's so hype. It's so it's so good, and it doesn't sound like anything else that's out right now, especially with the females. I think that this is good. <laughs> this is the 10 out of 10 so far. Let's keep going. The next song is called 19. Not. Whoa. Not Harajuku. Wait. All jokes aside, like, the vibe. Man, you bitches ain't built like me. Um, I don't know if I got the review of the last song, 19, so I don't know if I got the review for that because my camera just turned off like, what the fuck, but that is my favorite song on here, like, ciao, what the fuck, like, I don't know what that, like, vibe was in the background, I don't, I don't want to be disrespectful or anything, but she snapped, like, that simple, I don't know what the fuck that was, and I wasn't expecting it, but she went in and was just like, bitch, like, come, please. Please, sis. Please. Please. Yes. Yes! Yes. Yes. Um, and I also started May I, like, I'm literally more than halfway through. It's like the versatile that's coming out through at the end of this album, or mixtape, whatever. But she's jumping out. She's jumping out, and I fuck with it heavy. Let's keep going. I'm gonna keep listening to this. <laughs> Okay, this May I song that was giving me uh like the vibe was giving me uh Trini Dem Girls by Nikki. Um I think it was just like the background, whatever, the beat or whatever. Um but her flows like I know I see a lot of people talking about like she only uses that that flow on the but she literally only dropped like three songs like before this. So like she was just showing you what she can do. 
And now she's like, wait a minute, because these flows are just switching out back and forth, and I'm just like, ah! Ah! Like, yes! I think why I'm, like, so in love with it, I just tweeted about Flo Millie, so go follow me on Twitter. Ah. <laughs> that I really like is the beats are so fucking good. Like, really good. But she, like, keeps up with them, and she's, like, like, her energy, like, meets the beats, and it's perfect. It's so fucking perfect. Hey. Hi. Hey. Oh, Millie Oh, Millie I feel like a pussy cat dog. Ah! Keep that nigga on his toes and make sure you put up a HBI see she knows. Oh, that's Keep up with me, but deep inside. Next day, this number under, we gon' see. White cell, Gucci. Bam! This. Who makes her beats? I just heard that like little brand on the beat or whatever. I want to know who makes her beats because sis, she has a good ear for them. She has a really good ear for beats. Um, I know I keep talking about beats, but like, bitch, she is the H B I C. Yeah, yes, yes. I really can see myself listening to this album like for the rest of the for the rest of the year for real. Um, not many female rappers have dropped, like, projects this year, um, so I'm really excited about this, and, like, it's meeting my standard, it's meeting what I expected it to be. But let's keep going, the next song called Not Friendly. Oh no, the different, the peach chop, what? The beats, they just get me. I'm sorry. They just really get me. Yo. She got a fuckboy glow. Stop! The breakdown. That's what I like. That's what I like. I'm, I'm gonna talk more about it and like review the whole thing when this is over. So like, let's keep going. But oh my gosh! Like, I see when I listen to like projects like this, like first mixtapes and stuff. Like, I look to the future. I'm like, what are people gonna people right now? Young kids that are listening to this right now, like 16, 17 year olds that are listening to this right now, they're going to remember this in like five, six years. They're going to be like, damn, I remember 2020, I was bopping and quarantined to this shit. Ah! Okay, let's keep going. The last song is called Excuse Me. Oh, Okay, I really think that that was a good album ender to finish this whole album off. I love when she's bold. I love when she talks her shit. Like, I'm just gonna keep it buck. Like, she she's good at it. Like, she's good at flexing. Oh my god, I just wanna be her. Okay, I know, I'm 22. I'm a man. 
<laughs> I just want to be familiar. Fuck. Uh. Now, what I was saying earlier about people in the future, kids, young girls are gonna listen to this right now, and then in the future they'll be like, oh, um, I, I feel that because it's like it's it's kind of nostalgic, even though it just dropped. It just feels like one of those things. I, me personally, I don't know. She didn't go for the whole through the whole album. She didn't use that um, the the flow that she uses that everybody likes to say that she does. She didn't do that throughout the whole album. There was parts here and there, but like I said, that's her appeal. Like it, she sounds good like that. There's no female rapper out right now that sounds like this. None. Um, she's 19, so she can sound like a a young girl. Like that's what it sounds like. <laughs> it's hard like it's hard you cannot argue it's hard like females that are feminine there there's nothing wrong with females being um how do you say it uh like like forward and stuff there's nothing wrong with it but female rappers that are feminine but also hard hitting bold as fuck big ass balls yeah like <laughs> like there's like there's nothing more perfect in my eyes that's why i love megan that's why i love nikki that's why that's why i love her like it just sounds so good they don't sound like something that they're not i did say that this was a project um and it is because you can listen to this all the way through there's really no skips in my opinion um, you can listen to it all the way through from start to finish. You can even listen to it on shuffle. And it just, there's nothing bad. Like, no bad song. Okay, I'm going to do my top three. I want to know. Here goes the top, top five, top three, whatever. In no particular order. 19, Pussycat Doll, Send the Addy, Pockets Bigger, and In the Party. I'm sorry. In the Party is just, that is another one of those tracks that... In a couple years, it's gonna be nostalgic as fuck. I can already tell. Like, I know that song forward and backwards. Like, she was <laughs> she was not playing when she made that. When she went in the studio and did that, oh, that was a moment, and it was a moment for her, and she knew it. She knew it for sure. Every song in this album was a bop. So if you have a top three, let me know. If you have top five, let me know. Um, but. This album was consistently good. Consistently good. And that's hard to find nowadays with um, rappers in general, honestly. It was consistently good. It was consistently fun. It was consistently... It just wasn't boring overall. And it wasn't, like I said, something that she wasn't. It wasn't like too like deep delves. Like, not everybody always wants that. But I do think that she'll grow. And she will have songs like that more in the future. And I think her career is just starting. Like, it's just, I love this. I love it so much. Okay, let me talk about this album cover real quick. She is snapping. I love, in my dark skin, women are just so godlike. It's like, they're un incomparable. Incomparable on so many levels. They're so beautiful. So fucking so beautiful. Orange on dark skin women is just sickening this is like it's a deep dark orange well mm, i don't know i can't really explain that color <laughs> but i really fuck with it on her and like the font matches the color the bob oh i love bob so much and she really ate that i really fuck with this um let me like i said let me know you guys have high let me know you guys thought on everything follow me on twitter if you want to um but i guess that's it you guys make sure you, this was really fun i really enjoyed this and I can't wait to see more from her videos, hopefully. Um, but I guess that's it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'm in the book.